This video is about the Italian Championship at Lake Garda. And if you missed part 1, please check out the link in the description below. And now we jump right back into sailing. The first start of the first racing day was scheduled for 12 o'clock. And those of you who know Lake Garda might find out that there is a little problem with that starting time. At Lake Garda you usually have wind in the morning coming from the north and wind in the afternoon coming from the south. And in between there is no wind at all. Today is the first racing day. Until now we had quite strong wind from the north. But they think it will drop quite quickly. So they didn't send us out and we are now waiting for the wind to drop and change to south and hopefully get some races done in the afternoon. And we also hope for more wind in the afternoon than it was yesterday because yesterday there was almost no wind and it's quite boring sailing with no wind. So yeah, let's hope for nice races in the afternoon. Finally they sent us out and we waited two hours until the race committee decided that there was not enough wind for racing. After the wind died completely they towed us back into the harbor and unfortunately my sunscreen ran into my eyes and it burned like hell. When we finally arrived ashore we got confirmed what we already feared. The plan was to start at 8.30 the next day. Doesn't sound that bad. Well, let's do a little bit of math here. Starting at 8.30 means you have to sail to the course area one hour before, you have to prepare the boat which takes one hour and you have to drive to Gagnano which also takes one hour. And let's say five minutes to wake up, so you have to wake up at 5.25. Having in mind that we already made it to the podium and we have zero chances to improve, that's a no from our side. So we skipped day two and we're ready to race on day 3. And starting time was 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock, our scheduled starting time, but we are still ashore because we have to wait until the wind turns and at the moment it's still coming from the north. So just the same like on the first day. Hopefully we we'll get some nice wind in the afternoon. races with just enough wind to fall. That was really great. And what's not so great is that they want to start tomorrow at 8.30. That means we have to get up at 6.30 and that's quite early. Of course 6.30 is wrong. It's 5.25. Somehow we managed to get up and be there in time.
so we were ready to race, our boat not. What looked like a perfect racing day with good wind, not too much waves and nice weather ended up with just one race for us. Because our main sheet broke, which made it impossible to sail a proper downwind. So we decided to call it a day and head back to Dorbola. So that was the last regatta in 2019. Was it worth it? And that's a big yes. It was amazing to see both Italian teams fighting and it was a big surprise for us that the gap between them and us is actually not that big. It helped us to jump right back into sailing after a long break during the summer and we got a third place at the Italian Nationals. Okay, that wasn't the biggest surprise. But now we are on a point where if we keep pushing, if we keep fighting and stay focused and learn how to foil waves, we can hold up with the good guys. Not now, not in one year, but hopefully in two years. And that's something. like this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and see you on the next one